Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm taking another look at MX-16. Now, if you remember last time I reviewed MX-16, of course, I've always liked MX-16, but since I changed my video card, um, I couldn't get MX-16 to install it properly. And so uh, the good news is that um, I ran into Run With The Dolphin, um, who on uh, English Bob's live chat the other day and uh, it was a live stream and he mentioned to me that uh, MX-16 had created a new driver installer and he was pretty confident that my uh, NVIDIA drivers would be installed properly using the installer. So I loaded it up and I used the driver installer and lo and behold my NVIDIA card was installed perfectly absolutely perfectly I then installed my Realtek Wi-Fi drivers uh, using the normal manual install method that I normally install that went also trouble free uh, so as you can see the MX-16 is a abs an absolutely beautiful desktop um, I'm using one of their default wallpapers along with a conkey that I put up and I changed the panel to the bottom but it is running beautifully and I wanted to uh, just give you guys an update and let you know that MX-16 has listened and they uh, have been nice enough to go ahead and find a solution to this crazy NVIDIA card that I have. It's the card that I have is the uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. And so it's uh, not one of the easier ones to install but now there is an easy option with MX-16 so I'm happy about that. So and I just wanted to give you guys an update on um, some of the other distributions that I that I'm running on my hard drives. Let me pull up Gparted, and uh, we'll take a look at what I'm actually running right now. And I've actually eliminated a few. So let's take a look now on this particular SSD. I'm running Debian Stretch, which is the stable version of Debian. Then I've gone ahead and installed Solus OS, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Um, one of my favorite Arch distributions, SwagArch, is running on another petition. And of course MX-16. On my second SSD, I am running Sparky Linux 4.6. That's the open box version. It's running fine. I, I, I enjoy open box. It, uh, yeah, you have to work at it a little bit more, but it's, it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> then I installed Arch from scratch um, with the XFCE desktop, and that's on this second petition here. And then good old Lubuntu is running on the third petition as you can see that well this is a smaller drive so you can see the amount of space that I have to allocate is much less but Lubuntu's doing terrific um, and I put MX-16 on the main drive and I'm gonna be running it uh, on a daily basis for the foreseeable future so I'm going to show you uh, uh, an issue that I'm having with Solus OS. Maybe you guys can recommend a solution. And so I'm going to pop over to Solus OS, guys, and I'll be right back with you. And this is my Solus install. Um, as you can see, I'm having some issues. Can't get NVIDIA drivers installed, and I also can't get my Realtek Wi-Fi drivers installed. I'm having to run off Ethernet. Um, I've reinstalled three times 
and I've gone through just about every possible scenario uh, to get these drivers installed. Everything that I know, um, I have paid a visit to the Solus forum, and um, right now I am taking their advice and trying to get this resolved. As you can see, uh, I put up a question, new to Solus, need some help please? Then I go on to share my problem. And the problem is that even though the kernel that I'm running, um, it only gives me one option for the kernel and that is 4.9.22-7 long-term support. Uh, that's the only option it's giving me on the grub screen. Yet, when I uh, run a command to find out what I'm running, it says Linux LTS version 4938-34. But then it shows 4922-17. And when I go to install the headers which are required for both of the drivers that I'm trying to install when I tell it to install the long-term support headers it is installing the 4938 well that's all well and good but it's t it's telling me that I'm booting off the 4922 and when I go into the grub screen and, and select advanced options to see how many other kernels are there there are none the only option I have is 4922-17, and that is the problem. That's why it's not letting me install basically any drivers at all. So I'm working with uh, some of the folks over at Solus to see if I can get this resolved. I'm hoping to so that I can uh, take a look at it um, and see what it's all about. They're, they use a different package management system, which I'm excited about learning, uh, but this is not, uh, I'm not able to run this the way I want to. Uh, my, my screen resolution is absolutely terrible. So um, that's where I stand with Solus. So let's move over to one of my other distributions, and I'll be right back, guys. And guys, welcome back. I am sitting here in my Swag Arch installation. <clears throat> Again, this is running absolutely perfectly. I've got it set up a little bit different. This is a plank dock on the left, a uh, little conky up in the top. I made this little wallpaper, Swag Arch wallpaper. Everything is running perfectly, no issues whatsoever. And if I had to put a uh, put a list of top five. Uh, our, uh, Swag Arch would be in my top five. So, uh, guys, I'm going to uh, pop out of Swag Arch and I'll magically reappear in another distribution. I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. <coughs> this is my Arch from scratch installation. I install this the Arch way, um, command line, step by step and I built it just the way that I wanted it. It's um, basically a panel at the bottom, XFCE menu. Um, it's got the uh, plank dock on the left, no screen tearing. Uh, as you can see, I've got a, a different conky. Uh, everything's running properly. I've got the PEMEC AUR in the system tray telling me I've got 12 available updates. Uh, everything works perfectly and I bounce in and out of this one I'm just leaving it up there um, as one of the distributions that I use on uh, usually on a daily basis I will bring this up and um, it's absolutely perfect no problems whatsoever and if you if you've never done a, a real Arch Linux installation before uh, I've got a video online with a step-by-step. -step. A lot of people have tried it and been successful. And so if you've got a spare petition on your hard drive and you don't mind doing a little bit of uh, 
extra work. Uh, you can build the distribution. You can build the install exactly the way you want it. Use whatever desktop environment you like. Add whatever packages uh, and set it up just the way you like it. So guys, uh, that is it for this particular distribution. I'm going to pop into uh, one of my other distributions that I have running on this computer and I'll be right back. And here we are guys in my Debian <clears throat> stretch install. Um, as you can see it's absolutely terrific. This thing is runs so smooth, so quick, no issues whatsoever. No matter what game I want to uh, play it it's it has no problems at all with it and so I, uh, I, re I that's why it's really sitting at number one on my disk um, I've got it set up this is an LXDE uh, install which I really like and it's very simple it's very quick it does whatever I want it to do I can make it look however I want I've got a panel transparent panel here on the left I've got a transparent panel at the top uh, I've got the conky I've got no uh, screen tearing everything's running fine so uh, this is Debian the stable version which is stretch it's a really easy install and very easy to configure whatever you need so uh, hold on and I'll be right back in another distribution Hey, welcome back, guys. And this is the final distribution that I'm going to uh, uh, show you today. This is Lubuntu. Now, this is a, a screenshot of my American Trucking uh, Simulator. And this is my truck. And next to the old-fashioned ice cream truck. Pretty cool. So as you can see, I've got a conky in the right. I've got just a plain panel at the bottom. Everything runs fine. All my gaming runs perfectly. You can see Steam is installed. Uh, Battle.net is installed. Everything's running top notch. So this is the uh, last distribution I'll show you today. Uh, hopefully the total time of the video is not excessive. Um, and I don't want to lose sight of the fact that the original reason for the video was the MX-16 uh, improvement to their to their NVIDIA um, installer and it worked absolutely perfectly as I said so guys that is it for this video uh, please rate comment and subscribe thanks for stopping by the channel today and I'll see you soon take care